All right, guys, four barriers to overcome when launching your digital marketing agency. Let's face it, it sucks. It's so difficult. And the ups and downs of launching and scaling, getting started is, is just really tough. But there's four barriers, really, that you have to overcome. And if you don't, it's going to make it really, really tough as you really start to grow, right? High digital, 150 people in just three years. I think we're on track to be on the Inc. 5000 list in the top 700, 800 companies in the US. And through that, there's been a lot of headache. But it's really these four things in the beginning we had to figure out in order to scale. The first thing was people. The first burden you have to overcome is the ability to bring on talent. Now, maybe that's outsourcing, maybe going to a franchise model, uh, maybe you're hiring a VA, maybe you're hiring someone in-house. But the first barrier is that first person this person's gonna make up 50% of your entire company. This is gonna make up 100% of the people that don't have ownership, you know? So maybe they don't care quite as much. This is the one person that's gonna be your support. He's gonna be either the biggest crutch you have or the biggest savior you have. That first person you bring on is so, so essential. And a lot of times as digital marketers, as entrepreneurs, we're quick, quick, quick to hire. And oh yeah, we're quick to fire as well, like the old saying goes. But I want to encourage you, if you slow down and hire the right person, it makes the world a difference. Gustavo Tapia. Gustavo Tapia was the first person we hired. He was working for another Inc. 5000 agency. He was been there for four years and we brought him on because I knew people trusted him. I know that if he came over, everybody else would be open to coming over. I know that if he got in, he never gossiped, he never complained, he was just a hard worker. I knew him, I knew who he was, and I knew he would add a ton of value. He was too expensive. To be honest, like as the first team member at Hyde, like it was really expensive for us to get it on, even back in the day. But the right person was essential. Number two is finances. As an entrepreneur, trying to figure out where you're gonna spend your money is so hard and it's different. I mean, even me giving a suggestion of what you should be doing is it's different for everyone. But there's some key pillar there and I'll, I'll reference you back to like Dave Ramsey, Entree Leadership, some of the book material he has, but you can never go wrong, and <laughs> typically, you can never go wrong with saving money. And balancing saving money, investing in staff and investing in operations has always been something we're constantly looking at at height. But passing the barrier where I, I think getting to, you know, my, my core deal is four months of liquid cash savings. And that's hard. Height, we're, like I said, three years in, 150 people. We're still not quite at four months because every time we hire someone, we now have to have another 10 grand, 20, 30 grand in savings, right? But having that constant mindset of going, we're going to save money. We're going to be stable. How many agencies grew a little bit, but then in COVID, they just crashed? How many agencies have that success and then they just plummet? How many people, you know, find the right talent and then two weeks later, they leave? You got to be prepared. You got to be prepared as an agency and having financial stability, having a savings, I think is really, really crucial. Number three is laziness. Like being an entrepreneur, all of us think about like the four hour work week and oh, I want to do anything with my time. And the reality is an entrepreneur, when you don't have to be at work at eight, that creates a barrier. And as an entrepreneur, I will tell you this, one of the things that I've been very blessed with so far is my dad taught me like get up freaking early and get to freaking work. And so since the, since the inception of height, I've been at work and I'm normally the first person here. I get here at like 6.30, 6 o'clock. Nowadays, I get here at 5.45, but back in the day, 6, 6.30 but I'm consistent. I work until five. I'm the first one to get here and typically the last one to leave. It, the, 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 a lot of us don't move forward because of imperfect action. I'm waiting on the social media. I'm waiting on the website. I'm waiting on this. I'm wait, just move, just move. Nothing else to do, cold call. If there's nothing else to do, go online and start research and start learning. But at the end of the day, I, I, get, I have something, you know, I like to say to entrepreneurs, right? Like if you came to work for me or if you went to work for a bank, if you worked anywhere in the world, you would expect like, bro, I'm going to work 48, 50 hours a week for this guy. But yet you won't even work 20 hours a week for yourself. You're putting in half the effort for yourself that you would give to someone else. Like, dude, you're in the wrong business if you only want to work 20 hours a week. Find something you enjoy. Laziness is a big barrier, a big barrier. And don't count social media being on there for six hours as prospecting, all right? Don't count networking holistically as, as work, right? Like really put in the time put in the energy. And the fourth thing you have to overcome, that fourth thing you have to overcome is fear. 
I get it. Being an entrepreneur is scary. That's what I opened this up, right? It's so scary, especially if you care, especially if you care about your team and about your, your, uh, your, your clients, right? Those first hires, I was so scared when Gus came over. My wife and I were like, man, what happens if we don't sell? What happens if we can't grow? The reality is an entrepreneur, you have to get over that. You have to get over the fear of cold calling. You have to be get over the fear of saying something someone maybe not li- maybe won't, won't, won't like. You have to get over the fear of going out and getting done what you know you get, need to get done. You gotta get away from the fear of, man, what if I failed my wife? You have to get over that. You have to have a relationship that no matter what happens, she's got your back or he's got your back. Fear is the last thing you have to overcome. And it'll be a big, big barrier in your life. If you don't overcome it, it's just gonna make it really, really difficult. Fear, you have people, you have time, laziness, right? Laziness and finances. If you can overcome these four barriers, I promise you, you'll have so much more joy, peace, and stability in your life. With that being said, guys, I hope you have an incredible day. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, subscribe here on YouTube. If you're watched this far, maybe you owe me a subscribe. Let's make it happen. And visit jchite.me to learn more about our inner circle, to learn more about all of our free. We have tons of free courses, content, snapshots, funnels, everything you can need as a digital easy hacker. Dot com. If you need anything at all, let us know. I love you guys. Be good. Work hard. And keep hustling.